Right, golf mates, it's here, it's time. I'm going to play four holes my way. Going to play four holes. I'll have a hole what will be hard where I'll have a shot on. And let's just see what I do gross. And then see how the clubs will play. And then we're going to get old man Pat for Academy around. Let's see if I've done anything wrong. Probably with Pat, I've done something wrong, but I can't see him shout at me. He's a hell of a nice guy. Right, golf mates, we're starting this challenge on our second hole. As we speak, where we are, we've got 250 yards. I wouldn't say it's a slight dog leg, it's virtually straight. Go left, water, right. Pretty in the open, really, but it's a very difficult second shot for come over. I'll always hit driver from this tee, always, because I don't really go left from a driver, it's, it's normally right, so if I don't hit it straight, you know, if I hit it straight, it should be front at green. If it goes right, be all right. Left, it don't normally go. So driver, vice golf ball, come on. Stroke 14, so I won't even get a shot here, so it's still, I still think this is a, this is a play. Shot all day, it's faded nice. Try and zoom in. What a great swing, but with my shot's shape, it's fine. Do you know what I mean? But I think it's in front of there. It is. See it? Happy days. Right, let's be honest. It weren't a great swing, but with my swing, left to right, it happens a lot. So 30 yards at most, 25, 30 yards, 35 yards, middle at green. On the left of the pin, two putt, get away, happy with a par here. Why can I not do it every week? So I slightly pushed it to the take it all day long. New rules, you can leave the flag in, but not for me. So Pat might disagree, I don't know. This is for one under. Jordy, if you're watching, play me your, this Vice Pro Soft golf ball. It's like a weird map finish. One under, I'm taking that. I don't know what Pat would have had me done there, but I still take driver all the time. Right, 11 fall. Stroke two, so I'll receive a shot. It's from this tee, bang on, 400 yards. Same again, I don't really go left, so if I can start it just left of the bunker, if I have my little fade, what normally happens, or slice, should be all right. Wind a little bit with. Same again, a bit in the middle, but a bit slicey, but you're going to lack it enough here. So we've had a load of snow here in England, especially here at Chorlton, and we think my golf ball is right in that snow, so it'll be a free drop. Right, so pins at front, I've actually gone over the snowman. So it's 150, it's slightly downwind. Going to go with the old German, 9. I don't know if your clubs are this clean. Oh, you can see that, can't you? It won't make much difference. Right, I'll let you come and blow though. I don't know if we're out. Oh, it's, that's a bit bent, isn't it? It's a bit straight. Right, it's gone. It's either in the bunker or just over, but my divot's aiming that way, but my club with the mud now looks like it's a side blow. So, uh oh, keep doing that pushing. Let's see where it. So, with there, you can see pitch mark. It's actually short, but ended up all right. Right. For these shots, now I don't know why, in the winter, I've stopped using my 52, I've gone to my proper like pitching wedge. If I get up and down, great. If I get a five, which is at least I'm gonna get from here, unless I have a bit of an heart attack or something. Stroke two, I'll take it. Plus with my start. Wait, where'd this come from? <laughs> I'll tell you. I can play on my own, and it's all live. Just whack 
it in, don't mess around with these, just be firm. Well, I'm going to be honest, old man Pat, I don't think he can, he can improve this really, can he? Two holes, minus one, come on, two more holes. Right, I've come to the 15th, you've probably not seen this much. It's out of bounds left, trees right. It's 333 yards, but it is into the wind. So different circumstances, different days. If we had like a five or a three wood, maybe I'd hit that, but I ain't really got one. But I just feel comfortable with driver, starting it a little bit out of bounds, and if it does my fade, great. If not, there's plenty of distance. And I'm one under gross, but I've no shot here. But this is a shot. It's called pins white flag, so it's probably it's probably playing 340. Hello. Oh my slicey fades come, but I don't it's hit the trees. I'll just you're not gonna see the ball. It's hit the trees down there, past that 150 stick, what you can see there, and it's just gone to the left. So there's the 150 in the T. Unlucky for me, that's my ball. Pin and the flag are behind there. I suppose there is a chance there, but that's one hard shot. So I'm just going to chip it there and use my loaf. I am tempted. I am tempted to go that way, but for the experiment, I'm not. Because I think in a metal round, I've even chipped it out myself. That wasn't a great chip. They were like one of Scoopies, weren't it? The dick. Right, third shot, I've got 102 yards, which normally I'll be hitting with 52. But I'm struggling with that, I'm really struggling. And this yardage, I'm struggling to get on the green from about 80 yards and 120. So I'm going to hit a dead easy pitching wedge, hoping on the green, get a bogey, move along. Definitely left of that pin, go right sort of bounds. So I'm hoping this is aiming, this rubbish away, left of that TV tower. And there you go, out of bounds. Not too sure what happened, I think I lifted my head. I'm glad that's happened, because that, it has been messing with my head that distance. But I think I lifted my head, I've done something though, my hand is cold, I'm making excuses and it was just a crap shot, wasn't it? Right, come on, this has been my third, fifth shot, I think. Come on. And that's gone that way. All right, let's get down to the ball, add these shots up. I don't know how many I've had now. Can't believe I've had a half shank top kind of crap shot, but I'm real. Made you laugh. Right, that one got shoved. I'm going to hit a 60 here because I just think float it three quarters away, it should just stop dead and hit pin. Anything low, it's all downhill, so it'll probably run away. So I think I've had five, this is my sixth shot. If I've got it wrong, I'm sure you'll let me know. So that'll be for a seven. So that's a seven. Minus one for a start of this hole after two. So I'm plus three after three. I don't know if I would have done anything different there. Just a crap shot. While you're laughing, comment below. Have you ever had a triple bogey on a par four? <laughs> right, OMP one's here. I've got his buggy ready. He's on the way. I'm plus three, last hole, par three, 165 yards. Into it wind, I'm gonna go with a six iron. I really could do with a par here, but I, my irons do go left a bit, so it's a, one of them nervous holes, but it's all out of bounds right. But middle at green, if I can, par, get away, plus three, disappointed, can Matt, Pat, make me play better. Drawing. It's 
It's on the green, that's the start. Well, I'm on the green, it could have been maybe another club, I don't know. A bit nervous after that little shot of the last hole. Right, leave the flag in, two putts, let's have it. But I could have given that another whack. Right, I've got this for a par. To be fair, you're a pretty decent tee shot, really. Good job I can put. I'm telling you, this ping putter are great. Right, thanks for watching. Basically, plus three over four holes. I think I've played everything right, bar me. I don't think it matters what club I hit with that swing. It doesn't really matter, would it? It could have had a club this big, wouldn't it, with the target. So thanks for watching, and let's see what old man Pat makes me do.